So now we come back to the second problem, which is the problem I'm going to explain this time, right? This is about e uh, trapezoids, why isosceles trapezoids were have e equal side lengths. One very common proof was given by me here last time, right? You drop the two altitudes, it seems like you have two congruent triangles, everything, everybody's happy, right? But there are some issues. The issues are actually drawn on the side of this board. Why there's an issue? Why those give us serious issues for this proof? Well, there are other configurations of the trapezoid when it's slanted, and when you draw perpendiculars, you have a different diagram. Right. In our original proof, we basically assume you do have those two triangles, right? But we are only given a, a trapezoid. For a diagram like the, the last one, the two bases are very far apart, you cannot even produce two right triangles like that, right? So that's why we have we say that proof has some issues. So actually, the more common proof, boom, the, 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 the real correct proof, I think, is this: is actually rather than cut a, tra a trapezoid into what a rectangle and a two right triangle, as we normally envision a trapezoid is, a trapezoid is much better being cut into what a triangle and a parallelogram. Right? And that is actually coming from the definition of trapezoid now. Because they said that there's only one pair of what? Parallel sides. So the other two pairs are not parallel. So I can always, through one of the vertex, draw a parallel line on one of the base. And then that would not be the same as what? The other side. And then I form a triangle. Right? So I always can make a triangle. A cut like this. But here, I, there's another very tricky, important question here. How do I know I can always draw that line lands inside the what? The base. Right? It's not always true. It's not always true. Right? It could be when you draw a parallel line, it goes out. Right? So, all of these are very crucial to us because we do want to finally produce this shape to prove isosceles triangles, right? So how do we guarantee that cut will be inside? So my question is to the student is, if I give you a trapezoid, what can you say about the two bases of the trapezoid? Are they equal? No, they can be equal. If they're equal, and becomes a parallel parallel. That's the key, right? So the two bases cannot be equal. Because two bases are not equal, there's a longer one and then there's a shorter one. And then I can force out the line, the parallel one that way. Because I pick a point on the longer one to make sure I have that short piece. Then I can do the parallel one. Yes, so that's when you two parallel segments of the same length. If then I force out a triangle. And at the angle in the isosceles triangle, I know they have to have the two equal base angles. And that's how we really form this proof. Right? So, as I said, to close up, many times people never understand why do we define parallelogram as exactly one pair? So, sorry, trapezoid. Right? People, when I read this, when I was young, I always feel like, why didn't they make it generalized? You know, the parallelogram is part of the trapezoid. It's better. It, it's only making it more restricted, right? But that's not true. Because, for example, important theorem like this is already in trouble. Because where we're, we're trying to say is, in an isosceles trapezoid, the two, oh, a trapezoid is isosceles if and only if you have what, two pairs of what, a pair of what, two pairs of equal base angles. Right? But that's not true for what? Parallelogram at all. Because parallelogram, those two base angles are not the same. It's the opposite angles, I would say. Right? And once one of my very good colleagues, when, he, when we write the uh, armor problems together, he said, well, if that's the case, he still wants parallelogram to be part of the 
we consider as travels. Like he said, what if I just add this in? Uh, in a trapezoid, if it's isosceles, if and only if you know the base angles are the same, except it is a parallel. Well, that could be possible if there's only one special cases like this, right? But I will draw some more configurations to tell people what is really. They have many, many more things <coughs> they have to change. So now go back to my comments. That isosceles trapezoid base angle equal is only one of the very few big reasons, one of the many big reasons why we should not consider parallelogram as a special case of trapezoid. Here I draw a few more, right? Can you guys tell me what I'm drawing? For example, let's start with the three circle, uh, the two circle ones. If you have a trapezoid inscribed in a circle, you can prove that it's an isosceles one. Yes. Right, and that, that's something that doesn't hold true for parallel grounds <clears throat> in general, except for the case where it's a rectangle. Rectangle is the only kind of parallel ground that you can put in a circle. Like something like this is you know, it's hopeless. You can't you can't get that same thing. Right. So to reflect back rectangle is a parallel ground, but not a trapezoid. Exactly. Right? Because we have more special cases to talk about. So if we do a theorem, then we have to tell them what more special cases now, right? And furthermore, I draw the, those three set the, the diagrams on the left hand side, right? They are actually also tell us why rectangle considered naturally as a generalization of, of a parameter. Okay? As soon as students start to learn uh, similar triangles, there will be many problems like the top. You draw a diagonal, you draw another line across, right? You cut the diagonals and then the two sides make intersections. Then you can see there are lots of similar triangles. Okay? Butterfly shaped similar triangles, vertical similar triangles, and also, you know, parallel lines cause lots of similar, right? So what I emphasize on that segment is many of them are in so-called geometric mean ratio. Okay? In the future, we will do more of those. We will see why they are, one is the geometric mean of the other, and so on. Right? Same technique work for rectangle without any trouble. Only make it easier. Many of the students if they, some of our students, instead of doing similarity for the top part, they just do special cases for rectangle and doing coordinate geometry, which is actually a bad thing. They should use similarity, but they know rectangle is a nature generalization of, of trapezoid and works out fine, right? But a trapezoid is not. Look, on the bottom angle, in the bottom diagram, we lose tons of what similarity. We cannot. Reconstruct all of those geometric means from there. So that basically destroyed the last lots of properties. And you don't have a second pair of parallel lines. Exactly. Right? So that's, that tells us fundamentally these two shapes are very, very different. That's why we cannot want to say parallel on the special case of, of trapezoid. 